Hello. Today's video is going to discuss why adult children of narcissists often end up in abusive or dysfunctional relationships. Many of us raised by narcissistic parents end up in many dysfunctional and even abusive relationships in our lives. We've often experienced several so-called friends who only call when they need something from us, or lovers who can't be bothered with us beyond what we can do for them. Many of us were also married to narcissists. At some point, we all wonder, why did this happen? For starters, as children, we learned that love is conditional. Our narcissistic parents were only good to us when we pleased them in some way. This led to growing up believing that if someone is going to love us, we must do for them constantly. People who abuse others look for people like that. Many children of narcissists also grow up thinking that abuse equals love. Children cannot cope with the reality that their narcissistic parent doesn't love them, so they find other ways to cope with that fact. Many kids excuse their parents' behavior. They tell themselves things like, Mom just had a bad day. Other kids blame themselves by thinking if they were just a better kid, Mom wouldn't have to act this way. So they strive to be perfect. Whatever coping skill the child uses, it denies the parent is incapable of loving the child. The child then believes that her parent loves her and assumes that the abuse is just part of love. Children of narcissistic parents also are not allowed to have boundaries, so they never learn that they're allowed to say no. They grow up simply not realizing that they have every right to say the word no. We were also taught that we deserve whatever treatment we get. Narcissistic parents never instill self-esteem or self-respect into their children. In fact, they aim to destroy those things. This means that kids will grow up thinking that they have to tolerate being abused and that they deserve it. Very few children of narcissistic parents realize that their home life is abnormal at the time. They have their parent drilling into their minds that everything is normal or maybe even that their family is special, but never dysfunctional or abusive. So as that child forms friendships and later romantic relationships, often the child is put off by someone who is kind and functional because the behavior seems so strange and different than what they're used to. Kind of along those lines, people also tend to gravitate to the familiar, even when what's familiar is abusive. There's a degree of comfort in the familiar because you know what to expect and what not to expect. Stepping into the unfamiliar doesn't have that big comfort, so it's not quite as appealing. This is true even in relationships. That's one big reason that abused children often grow up to marry abusive spouses. It also explains how a person can grow up abused, marry an abuser, divorce that abuser, and marry another one. The lure of the familiar is very, very strong for many people. The good thing about all of this is that you can change. You don't have to be continually abused by anyone. Most of all, pray. Ask God to send good people into your life. Ask Him to remove the bad ones as well. I did this many years ago and have ended up with some wonderful friends that I still have. The more you focus on your healing, the less abusive people will be attracted to you. Abusers love dysfunctional people because they're so much easier to abuse. So focus on your healing. It's good for you and it also repels abusers. Change won't happen overnight, but if you do these things, it will happen. You'll definitely notice a better quality of people coming into your life and you'll notice the bad ones leaving. Thank you for watching my video.